And I said, uh, maybe. What, uh, what do I sell those for? No, I said, what do these cost? And he said, uh, they cost uh, about $200, $190 or something like that. And I go, okay, and what do I sell those for? And he goes, you don't sell those. You use those. And I looked, and, and he handed them to me, and I looked at them, and I go, I don't have the body parts for this stuff, but um, what do you sell it for? And he says, well, you sell it for, it's, it's, it's around 350 and, uh, and I said, okay, all right, well, uh, I'll give it some thought. And, uh, and so uh, I left. He called me back. He followed up. He followed up. He followed up about five times or so. And then he says, uh, he goes, is getting in the business a problem for you? And I said, yeah, it is. And he said, uh, he goes, I figured out a way that I can get this to you for free. And, uh, and I said, okay. And so I drove an hour and a half to his house. That's my second primary communication to you. When somebody's in the right time in their life, they'll drive. They'll come there. Okay. Rick followed up. That's the other thing you needed to pick up on. All right. So he sat down. I sit down with him and he goes through this and he says, do you understand network marketing? I said, I do. And he said, uh, he goes, have you ever seen it before? I said, no, not the way you're saying it. My history was I was working with a drug enforcement agency in while I was in the uh, EOD, Explosive Ordnance Disposal. So while I'm in a bomb squad, they come to me and they say, we've got a problem. The DEA comes to me and they say, we've got a problem. All of the drug guys are putting drugs inside of refrigerators. And so our DEA guys go in there, boom, 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 shooting everybody. They open the refrigerator looking for the drugs and the drugs blow up. Okay, the bomb blows up inside the refrigerator, it blows the DEA guy up, and it blows the drugs up, and so they don't have any evidence anymore. And so they say, we need you to go in first. <laughs> really? <laughs> Sounds like a heck of a job. Let me do this. Um, and so I did. And so I would, I would be the first guy through the door. I'd look for trip wires. I'd do a trip wire sweep, uh, pit bull. Uh, ugly guy, you know, I would do that kind of a thing and we would be shooting all the way in and then I would defuse the refrigerator and then we could open up and get the drugs out. So um, while I was working undercover with the DEA, there were some things that I figured out. Where is the billboard that says buy your cocaine here? <laughs> None. So it's all by word of mouth, right? So if you were to add up the entire pharmaceutical industry, all the drugs in the world, legal drugs, and you were to add up all the oil in the world, it does not equal what the illegal drug industry does every year, and they never advertise. So when I heard of this by word of mouth, I'm like, makes sense to me. Um, I thought Amway was a train. So Amway, Amtrak, Am I, I did not know the difference. So I was kind of in that ignorance. Uh, well, still am in some things. But um, kind of in that stage where I didn't really understand it. But I knew by word of mouth worked. Okay, that's what I knew. And so uh, when I got all done, I said to Rick, I said, uh, Rick, okay, I'm going to do this. And he said, uh, he goes, great. He says, do you have a credit card? I said, I do. But before we do this, the, the one thing that I've always learned in all of my military experiences has been this. Is, is that the opportunity sounds all great in the beginning, but there is such an ugly back end. And, you know, they always talk to us about how we're going to get into this zone. We're going to skydive in and we're going to swim over here and blah, blah. They never talk to us about how we're going to get out of there. Right? <laughs> and so I'm like... Who does these ops? Who plans these things? And so from then on, I would always, when I would plan my op, I would plan, how do I get in and how do I get out? And so I said, Rick, I'll do this, but you're going to have to tell me something, man. I need to know everything. Everything. Now, you've got to understand, I was sitting there talking to him about a skincare company. I'm sitting in his living room. I'm dressed like a tree. Okay? Like... Like, I, that's my work. I'm sitting there, and I'm looking at him, right? And I said, you need to tell me everything that happens in this industry, all the good and all the bad. And if you leave anything out, I will take you out. <laughs> I'm not kidding you. Rick today will tell you that's exactly what I said. I'll take you out. And I meant it. Does everybody now understand when that phrase was, uh, he don't talk much? Do you understand why? 
because I just had a different attitude. People, life, meanings didn't have the same that it does today. And so, uh, so that's what I said. He was obviously uncomfortable with what I just said. <laughs> he babbled around a little bit, uh, and, um, and he, he said, uh, he began to talk. He began to uh, say a couple of things. Here's, here's what he said. He said, uh, Tim, one of the problems you're going to have is rejection. That's a problem in it. And I said, tell me about this rejection. And he said, well, Tim, uh, what happens is, is that you're going to expose the business to somebody and they're going to tell you no. And I go, and then what? And he says, well, then you have to find somebody else. Okay. What else? And he said, the next thing that can happen to you is, is that uh, people will deceive you. I said, deceive me. He said, yeah, how? And he goes, they won't show up. They'll tell you they're going to meet with you, and then they don't actually show up. And then what happens? And he goes, uh, well, then you have to find somebody else. Hmm. Okay. All right, good. Uh, what's next? And he says, uh, attrition. I said, tell me about that one. And he says, people will say they're going to do something, and then they'll quit. They'll quit. I said, yeah. He goes, and I go, then what? And he said, uh, well, you find somebody else. <laughs> and is there anything else? And he said, yeah, you'll be disrespected. Disrespected. And I said, what happens there? And he says, well, people that, who don't know the industry will say that you're in a pyramid scheme that you're in a scam, uh, and, uh, and they'll make fun of you. Make fun of me. And then what happens? And he goes, well, you just you find somebody else. <laughs> and I said, uh, this is a joke, right? <laughs> this is a joke. And he said, no, this is exactly it. And I go, is that it? And he says, as far as I can remember, I go, no, 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 that doesn't work for me. Is that it? Because I'd already told him I'd take him out, right? <laughs> and he goes, that's all I can think of. And I said, no, I'm not asking you for a disclaimer. I want to know, is that it? <clears throat> and he said, yes, that's it. And, <laughs> and I was like, you mean to tell me this? Let me just get this straight. That people make more money in a month than I make in a year, easy. And in every single problem, the, all, the, 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 the solution is always the same. Just go get somebody else. See, in my, in my world, where I came from in the bomb squad, what I was doing at the time, rejection meant that the bomb blew up in my face. <laughs> right? Deception is when the enemy planted booby traps in my area. Okay, attrition means the whole team got wiped out and I've got to figure out the rendezvous point on my own. And disrespect is when somebody is shooting at me. I had uh, been in the business for about, a, about two months. I sponsored somebody in, and, and, uh, and she, uh, she came in. She was all frazzled. She had this uh, folder in her hand. She had papers coming out of it and all kinds of things. She was a real estate agent, and she was sitting down in front of me, and she goes, Whew, this business is so hard. I said, hard? <laughs> really? If you'd understood where I was at just prior to, uh, to coming in, um, I had uh, dug a hole that was uh, just uh, about six feet four, just above my height, and, um, and I was in that hole for several weeks. We were uh, re doing recon. And uh, we had a little periscope up there. So whatever I did in that hole, I lived in. Does anybody get the picture? 
It was a vegetarian diet I was on, fortunately, but, uh, but nonetheless, it was not a pretty sight. And so I find it pretty humiliating and horrifically laughable when someone can go through this industry and somehow come out on the other side of it and go these words, it's hard. It's hard, really. Then that tells me you've had one plush life. <laughs> if this is hard, right, I sit in my chair and my chair's got three buttons on it, okay? This one will move the back piece of back a little bit. And this one will slide me down so that my feet sit right on the ground. And this one right here, it'll allow me to rock back and forth. Anybody got a chair like that? You call it hard to sit in that thing? You stand up with your elbows like this for a week and you do everything that you do. In other words, you know how you go to the bathroom? You don't get to go to the bathroom. You just sit right there and go to the bathroom. And then uh, when you have to urinate, you do that too. And when you have to get a drink of water, sorry. And when you're hungry, uh, there's this little tiny thing. It's green. It's about this big. It's called MRE. Meal ready to eat, meal ready to exit is what we call it, nickname. <laughs> and you open this thing up and you eat it and it is horrific. All right, that's what we did. And so somehow when people tell me, Tim, this is so hard, I say, are you joking? This is not hard at all. So can I just get everyone's agreement for just a second for you to step back out of your very difficult world? And just ponder this one little thing. You sit on your butt. You make a phone call. Anytime you want a peanut butter sandwich, you can just go upstairs and get it. Anytime you want a drink of water, you just go get it. And it's fresh water. And you can even have it reverse osmosis if you want to. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself if you ever in your life say this is hard. <laughs> 